given two strings s1 and s2 write a function to determine if s2 is an anagram of s1 so what is anagram two string are said to be anagrams of each other if it contains the same characters only the order of character in both the string is different uh, for example if you see the example one s1 and s2 both contains the same character only the order of con character in both the string is different so s2 is an anagram of s1 let's see the second example in second example if you see s2 is not an anagram of s1 as both the string con uh, contain different characters so if you see h is present in string s2 but it's not present in s1 similarly c is present two times in s2 but it's not present in s1 it's only occur once in s1 and if you see another character e which is not present in s1 so as in this example s2 is not an anagram of s1 so uh, for this question you may assume the string uh, contains only lowercase alphabets so uh, before solving this problem uh, let's think for a moment uh, what's your approach uh, to solve this problem first approach uh, is to sort both the strings and compare if both the strings is equal then it's anagram otherwise it's not an anagram so if you recall uh, the anagram property two strings are said to be anagram if it contains the same character only the order of uh, character is different so uh, our first example was uh, car and r a c so if we sort this string then it is a c r and if I sort this string then it is ACR if we compare them then both the string is equal so it's an anagram so uh, the time complexity of uh, this approach is O and log n so this is the easiest approach uh, to check whether two strings is anagram or not so uh, can you think uh, let's think for a better solution can we reduce the time complexity uh, further so, uh, this is our second approach and in second approach how we are checking whether two strings are anagram of each other or not let's see so here I have declared an array of uh, array uh, which has a size of 26 why 26 has uh, alphabet contains 26 letters so we need that much size and then I'm traversing a string and here what I'm doing is I'm using the ASCII code so we know ASCII code of A is 97 similarly ASCII code of B is 98 and it goes up to Z which has ASCII code of 122 so to accommodate them in a indices of 0 to 25 we need to subtract it with the ascii code of a so let's see so the first character in a string one is c so the ascii code of c is 99 and the ascii code of a is 97 so here we get 2 so we need to Put the value in this indices in indices 2 so here we are incrementing the count so the count is 1 now and if we see the first so let's move to next line and the first character of a string 2 is R and uh, the ASCII code of R is 114 and if we subtract them with the ASCII code of A then it is 17 so somewhere let's say this is our indices 17 and here we need to decrement its value so minus 1 is put here the next character is a the ASCII code of a is 97 and we need to subtract them with the ASCII code of a which is 97 so we get index 0 so at index 0 we need to increment a value which is 1 and let's move to this line and here the second character in a string 2 is a a so we need to decrement the value at indices 0 so 
now it's zero the last character in string one is r so the so we need to go at this index and increment its value so the value is zero now and the last character in string two is c we need to go at this index and decrement its value so it's zero now so this is how this method works and after uh, we came out of this loop then in this so in this code we are traversing an array and we are checking if any index has value any indices has value which is not equal to zero then it's not an anagram so if you see in this array all the indices has value equal to zero so we return true so it's an anagram so uh, the time complexity of this approach is o n which is better than the first approach so this is how uh, this method works and uh, that's it for this video tutorial and for more such programming tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel or you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video